Good morning friends, welcome to Parneka Tutorials YouTube channel. In the last few videos, I have discussed what are the steps involved in constructing the LL1 parsing table with few examples I have discussed. Let me discuss with one more example so that whatever the doubts you have, all the doubts will be cleared. I request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. Now look at the grammar. A determines small a capital A, B capital A, B capital A, A capital A or epsilon. This is not E, this is epsilon. Those who are watching my all my videos in a sequence, they can easily say that, sir, this is epsilon, not E. Okay, no problem. So, first thing is that we need to identify what terminals and non-terminals. So, first let me identify the non-terminals. The non-terminal is capital A. Will you agree with me or not? Even the start symbol is also capital A. And what is the terminal? The terminals are the symbols which are there in the right hand side other than the non-terminal such as small a and small b. Is it clear? You can consider epsilon or if you does not consider epsilon also, not a problem. Now we will construct the LL1 parsing table. So you will have a, you will have b, you will have the dollar as the terminals in the LL1 parsing table. Okay, they, the terminals will be placed in the column and the non-terminals will be placed at the rows. Okay, is it clear? Now you have only one non-terminal, so I can directly write like this. Now look at it, each production we need to look at. First, let me take the production a determines A, B, A, okay, A capital A, B capital A. Now, this is in the form of A determines alpha. Now, what is this one? Where I should keep the A determines alpha? In the first of alpha as per the rules. So, what is the first of this one? First of this one is first of the small A. First of small A is where A is a terminal. So, first of a terminal is terminal itself. So, you need to keep this production in the A and the A. Is it clear? At the non-terminal A and the terminal A because first of A is A only. So, you need to keep here. Is it clear? Similarly, if you look at this production, A determines B, A, A, A. So, where I should keep? in the first of small b, where small b is a terminal, so I need to keep it in the b, okay. So, a determines b a, a a should be kept in the a row and b column. Is it clear? Now, we have the next production, a determines epsilon. Now, if you have the epsilon here, if you compute the first of epsilon, you will get epsilon. So, in that case, what I have to do is that I need to compute the follow of A, okay, am I right or wrong? So, I need to place the production A determines epsilon in the follow of A. Let me compute the follow of A. Now, I think everyone know how to compute the follow. Okay, so follow of A, where A is the start symbol for this grammar. So, start symbol will have the dollar. Similarly, you need to look at where this non-terminal A is there in the right hand side. Okay, let me erase this one. Okay, here A is there, here A is there, here A is there, here A is there. So, first let me go with this A. As the A is there here, after that, whatever is there, compute the first of that one. First of terminal B is B itself. You place it in the follow of A. Okay, now come to this one. This is what after A, nothing is there. Am I right or wrong? So, this is a single production. A determines A, A, B, A. After A, nothing is there. If anything is there, you would have computed the first of that one in this case. Okay, if it is not there anything, Follow of A is what? Follow of A only. Is it clear? Follow of this one is follow of the left hand side. Again, follow of A. You are computing the follow of A and they are saying that follow of A is follow of A. Okay, leave it. Now, come to this A. Follow of A is what? First of small A, where A is a 
terminal so you will get a directly and if you consider this one follow of a is a only so these are the terminals you will get it in the follow of a one is dollar another one is a and another one is b so you need to keep the a determines epsilon production in all these terminals okay first let me keep it in the dollar a determines epsilon a determines a meaning is that in a at a you need to keep the a determines epsilon here also you need to keep the a determines epsilon production now if you look at it what i said if there is undefined entries we will call it as error here there is no undefined entries every entry is defined okay now if you look at it what is the second point i said at any location if you have more than one entry here one entry is there here another entry is there similarly here also one entry is there second entry is there here only one entry is there at any location if you have more than one production is it this is the production number one production number two then i will say that for this grammar ll1 parsing is not possible are you able to understand meaning is that this grammar cannot be parsed using ll1 parser because the ll1 table at any location more than one production is there so on a non-terminal a by looking at the input symbol a you have a confusion which production you want to use is it clear whether you want to use this production whether there is in this production if you have one production then you can use that production but if you have more than one production there is a ambiguity or there is a confusion which one you have to use then ll1 parser will not parse the grammar is it clear so this is an example where the grammar cannot be parsed using ll1 and i request everyone to try this question check it whether let me write it a determines b or a b determines a check it whether this grammar can be parsed using ll1 or not okay is it clear you check it and tell me the answer in the comment session if your answer is wrong i will clear your doubts thank you for watching my video if you still have any doubts related to this concept feel free to ask me in the comment session i will try to clear your doubts in less than 24 hours thank you for watching my video have a nice day